Hi, I'm Nikki from Find Me Crafting. Each month this year, I'm releasing different patterns to make the Cuddle Buddies baby blanket. The pattern for the blocks themselves and how to join them all together is already released. It's up for free on my website. I'll put the link in the description box down below. This month, I have the pattern and the full tutorial for this adorable cow applique. And if you're not making the Cuddle Buddies blanket, this applique will fit great anywhere you want to add a happy little cow. Come on, I'll show you how. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any new patterns or projects. The full written pattern for the cow is also available on my website for free. Just for planning purposes, there will be nine different animal appliques total that I will release this year for this blanket. I'm gonna show you where on a drawing I have put the cow on my blanket. You can obviously choose to put the animals wherever you want. I just wanted to give you an idea of where I chose to put it. And just so you know, I chose to put the spots on the cow with felt versus crocheting them. I just like that the edges are a little bit crisper that way. And I have a free pattern for those two spots available on my website. I'll put the link in the description box down below for that. You can obviously choose to just freehand and make your own spots, but I wanted them to fit pretty specifically along the curve of the cow's head. So this is what I came up with to help myself. I'm going to be using a G four millimeter hook for everything but the eyes. And my colors today will be Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn in black, pink, white, and light taupe. I'm gonna start by making the cow's head. For that, I'm going to use my white yarn. And I'm gonna start with a magic circle. If you have any difficulties with a magic circle, I'll have a link up here in the corner for a video tutorial to help you out. But I am going to grab my yarn and I'm going to chain one. So now I have my magic circle. I'm gonna put eight single crochets into my magic circle. So go down and around, pull up my yarn. Now I have two loops on yarn over and pull through. That's one, two, three, four. So now I'm gonna use my starting tail over here. I'm going to pull on that to tighten up my circle. I am going to slip stitch under the first single crochet that I did. So I went under both loops. I'm gonna grab my yarn, pull it under the loops and then under the loop on my hook. Now you have this lovely little circle. I'm gonna chain one and now I'm ready for row two. In row two, I just do two single crochets into each of my stitches. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go underneath. I'm gonna pull up my yarn. I have two loops on. Yarn over and pull through. That's one single crochet now in the same stitch. I'm gonna go back under and do the same thing. So there are now two stitches instead of one, two in that one stitch and I'm going to do two more into each of my stitches around for a total of 16 single crochets. And back around to where I started, I'm going to slip stitch under the first single crochet that I did, pull it through both. I'm going to chain one and now I'm ready for row three. In row three, we are going to do two single crochets in this first stitch, the same one that we just did the slip stitch to and then one in the next stitch, and then back to two under this stitch and one under this stitch. And we're gonna continue around. We will have a total of 24 single crochets. So here in the first stitch, the same one I slip stitched to, I have one single crochet and then in the same stitch, my second. In my next stitch, just one. Now we go back and do two. So here's one, and two, and then now just one, and continue around. And back to where I started, I am going to slip stitch under the first single crochet of that row and chain one. Now I'm ready for row four. So in this row, we're going to start with one single crochet, then do two in the next and one in the next. So one, two, one. Then we start that repeat over. One, two, one. One, two, one. If we don't do kind of a different count on this one, what you find 
over the course of a circle, if you keep doing your repeats in the same area, you end up with kind of a octagon shape. So we start in the same stitch that we did our join to, and we do one, and then we do two, and then we do one. So that's the pattern we're going to be using for this row. So now we're gonna do one, and then two in this stitch, and then one. You're going to continue that pattern all the way around and you're gonna have 32 stitches in this row. I'm back around to the start. I'm going to once again slip stitch under my first single crochet and chain one. That gets me ready for row five. And in this row, we are going to do two under the first stitch and then I'm gonna do three singles. So a single, single, single. And then I'm gonna repeat and do a double. So two in this stitch and then single, single, single. So two and then three singles. So I have two already done that first one. Now I'm gonna do a single in this stitch, a single in the next stitch, a single in that third stitch. I'm gonna repeat that till I get back to where I started. And there should be 40 single crochets in this row. I'm going to slip stitch under my first single crochet, just like I've been doing. I'm gonna chain one, and I'm gonna begin the sixth and final row. So for this row, in my first stitch, I'm gonna do a single, just one. I'm gonna do one more just like that, another single. And now I'm gonna do a double under this stitch. And now in the next two, I'm just going to do singles. So one in this one, one in this one. This is your repeat. We're going to repeat the repeat by doing two singles, one single and my second single. Now a double under this stitch. Here's a double. And then two more singles. And now it's time to begin again. So single, single, double, single, single. Start over again, single, single, double, single, single. You can continue that repeat all the way around and you will have a total of 48 single crochets. So I finished row six. I'm going to slip stitch under my first single crochet. And now I'm ready to cut my yarn. I'm going to leave myself a fairly long tail because I'm gonna use that to sew this piece onto the blanket itself. So I'm just gonna finish off by pulling that yarn tail through. This is the back side of my work. I'm pulling my magic circle tight and now I'm going to weave in this end, going in the same direction, I'm gonna weave it in around the magic circle itself. Oops, I keep jumping out, okay. So I'm gonna pull my yarn this way and I'm gonna continue in the circle pretty much till I get back around to where I just started weaving in this end. And this, tightens up your circle and holds it in place. So it's not gonna come loose later on. It's not gonna open up. Next, I'm going to make the cow's muzzle. So for that, I'm gonna be using the pink yarn, still using my G four millimeter hook. I'm gonna start by creating a slip knot. And I'm going to chain five. One, two, so we're gonna begin this next part by working in the second chain from the hook. So here's where my hook goes here. Here's the first chain. This is the second chain. So that's what we're gonna do our next stitch in. We're gonna do a single crochet in that chain. And then I'm gonna do two more single crochets in these chains. So there's a second single crochet. Here's a third single crochet. And that leaves me just one chain here that I don't have anything worked into. And I'm gonna put two single crochets into that one. So here's one, and I'm gonna turn my work a little bit here and do a second. And here is my second crochet. Now, because we've been turning as we go, we are now on the opposite side. So this is the side we just worked the single crochets down, and now we're turning and working on the second side. So I'm gonna do one, two, and three single crochets down that side. So 
okay? You just kind of press this outward to get it to lay flatter. Because we've turned it this way, I'm gonna be working next into this stitch right here kind of at the top, and I'm gonna do two single crochets into that one. So there's one, and here's two. And as we're turning, we are now back where we started right here with our first single crochet. You should have 10 single crochets here in this little oval. So I'm gonna slip stitch to that first stitch in that row. I'm gonna chain one, and now I'm gonna work row two. And row two is going to be around the oval, just like the last one was. So beginning in this first stitch that I just slip stitched to, I'm gonna put a single crochet there, and then do three more for a total of four. So that was one, here's two, here's three, and here's four. Now, as I'm turning in this top stitch here, the one that we're holding near the top, I'm gonna to do three single crochets into that. So here's one, same stitch, we're gonna do two, and same stitch, we're going to do three. Now we're on the back side as we turn. I'm gonna do four single crochets down this side, one, and two, three, and four. And then we have once again turned and we have this top stitch here. We're gonna work three single crochets into that. One, two, and three. If you flatten it out, you are back around. This is a chain here, this is your chain one. So you, this is the first stitch of that second row. You should have 15 stitches all the way around in row two. And I'm gonna slip stitch under that first single crochet. And now the muzzle is finished. I am going to cut myself a longer tail because I'm gonna use this tail to sew the muzzle onto the face later. I just need to finish off by pulling that tail through. And there's your completed muzzle. It's kind of this little pink oval. I am going to use a yarn needle and weave in this end just so it's out of my way. Now I wanna embroider on the nostrils to the cow's muzzle. I'm gonna cut myself a length of black yarn. I'm gonna put it onto my yarn hook. And I am going to just embroider myself a couple of nostrils here. So I'm gonna work here over, this is the first row down the middle. The second row is this outside ring. So I'm going to I think I like where that goes. I'm gonna pull this up. I'm gonna leave myself a tail on the back and I'm gonna just go down at the top of the first row. So like this is the bottom of the first row, go down at the top. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that twice though. So I'm gonna go back in through the same hole and go back down through the same hole. And there's one of my nostrils. I am going to tie it at this point to my starting tail just so it doesn't come loose. Don't tighten too much because it'll pull the stitches on the front. And then I'm gonna move over here kind of toward the other end and I'm gonna do the same thing for my second nostril. Once you get it looking like you want it to, I am going to just weave in these ends, the black ones, and cut them off. Now my little cow muzzle is ready to go. Next, I'm gonna make the ears. So I'm gonna make one ear in white and one ear in black. The process is the same for both. I'm gonna make the one in white because I think it'll be a little easier for you to see. So we start with a magic circle, magic ring, whatever you wanna call it, it's the same thing. And chain one just to hold that in place. And I'm going to do four single crochets into my magic loop. One two, three, and four. Now I'm just gonna use my little tail and tighten that all the way up. I'm going to slip stitch to my first single crochet right over here. Grab my yarn, pull it through there and through my loops. And I'm gonna chain one. So that was row one. Now I'm gonna put two single crochets into each stitch around. So two in this stitch, the one that I just 
joined to, two in this one, two in this one, I should have a total of eight single crochets at the end of this row. I'm going to slip stitch to my first single crochet. It's all a little bit tight at this point. I'm gonna chain one. Now I'm gonna do two single crochets in the first, one in the next, two in the first, one in the next, all the way around. It's going to give me a total of 12 single crochets for this row. I'm back around. I'm gonna slip stitch under my first single crochet. I'll tighten everything up a little bit. I'm gonna chain one. And now I'm on to row four, which is the final row for the ears. So in my first stitch, the one I just joined to, I'm gonna do two single crochets, and then I'm gonna do a single and a single. So a total of four, but two in one, single, single. Two, single, single. Two, single, single. It'll be a total of 16 stitches in this row. When you get back to the start, you single crochet under that first stitch again, and the ear is actually done. It looks kind of rounded but we're gonna fix that in a second. I'm gonna cut myself a long tail again. I'm gonna finish off this circle. I am going to weave in my starting end to get it out of my way. I want this ear when it's done to be curled up and looking like this. So we are around, this is my finishing end. I am just going to pinch these bottom edges together. And I'm just gonna run a couple of stitches across this area right here to have it fold upward. Just like two under the first two stitches. I'm gonna go back down here to secure it. There, just like that. And there's my completed ear so that when I sew it on, it's going to look like this and be a little bit 3D. So now you have to complete a second ear in the black yarn. Moving on, we're going to create two horns. For that, I am using the light taupe yarn. I'm gonna create a slip knot, and I am going to tighten it up a little, and then I'm gonna chain five. So we go one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna single crochet in the second chain from the hook and in each of the other chains till the end. So that'll be four total single crochets. So there's one, two, three, and four. And believe it or not, that horn is done. <laughs> Tiny little horn. So I'm gonna cut and leave myself a long tail again so I can stitch it on. I'm going to finish it off by pulling it through and not knotting it. Um, there we go. And there is horn number one. So I do need to make another one of these and I am going to weave in this starting end so that it's out of the way for stitching on later. Next, I'm gonna make two hooves. I am gonna be using the black yarn. I'm gonna start with a magic circle. So I'm going to pull my yarn up through here I'm gonna chain one to hold it in place. Whoops, my yarn is not pulling out, okay. I'm gonna put five single crochets into my magic circle. So here's one, two, three, four. I'm a little loosey-goosey here. I'm gonna tighten up my circle a little and do my fifth, fifth single crochet. There we go pull on my end, and I wanna tighten this circle, but not all the way. I want it mostly tightened so that, you know, black yarn is hard to see, but it's kind of just a half circle. I don't want it to be a full circle. I don't wanna pull it all the way closed, just halfway. And now I'm gonna chain one and I'm gonna turn my work. I'm gonna work back across the top of my half circle. So I'm not going in a circle anymore like you typically do with a magic circle. I've turned my work and I am gonna work back the other way as if it was a row. And I'm gonna put two single crochets into each of these stitches. So here's the first stitch next to my hook. I'm gonna do a single crochet there. There's one, here's my second. And now I'm gonna move to the next stitch and do two more there. Two more in the next. It gives me 10 single crochets for this row in this half circle that we have going. 
I'm going to cut myself a long tail again for stitching on later. I'm going to finish that off. And this is going to be my hoof. So I'm gonna use my tail end of my magic circle still over here and tighten it up a little bit more. And it looks like this, it looks like a little hoof. I am gonna weave in my end as usual, my starting end, but leave this one here for sewing on later. And I need to make a second one so I have two hooves. The last thing we're gonna make are the eyes. I am switching to a B 2.25 millimeter hook. That's the only other size hook we use on the cow. I am gonna start with a magic circle and I'm going to put six single crochets into my circle. Oh, I do need to chain first to lock it in place. Okay, six single crochets. Oh, and be careful not to split your yarn. Then you're gonna to wanna to pull on your starting tail to tighten up the whole circle. And all you need to do is slip stitch to your first stitch. Kind of turn it here so I'm looking at my first stitch. I'm going to slip stitch there, pull through, and your eye is finished. As per usual, leave yourself a long tail so you can sew that eye on later. Finish it off. I am going to use a yarn needle to weave in my starting end. I am going to add a little sparkle to this eye. So I'm gonna put my tail end here. That's gonna be the bottom of my eye. So I'm gonna put my sparkle right here. I'm just gonna come up to the back where I want it to be. I'm gonna pull that through. Whoops, I dropped my needle, but I'm gonna leave a little bit of a tail hanging off the back with my white yarn. I'm going to move over about a stitch and just go down to the back side of the eye. And there's my little eye sparkle. I'm gonna knot it on the back here and weave in my white yarn ends. So let me show you how I like to assemble all of the pieces. I'm gonna start with the muzzle that I've already embroidered my nostrils onto. And I am going to use my yarn needle. I like to put it about two rows in from the edge but another way of testing it is to get your eyes and just make sure that if you put your eye where you think you're gonna put your eye, like there, yeah, I like how that looks. So I'm good to go, I'm good to attach. So I'm gonna hold it in place once I get it where I like it. I'm gonna go down through both loops of this stitch to the back of the head. Oh, I just, no, I didn't, okay. To the back of the head. And then I'm gonna come up underneath both loops of the next stitch and down through both loops of the next and I'm just going to go all the way around until I've attached the muzzle to the head. Once I get back to where I started and it's all sewn down I'm going to just make sure that my tail is on the back and I'm going to weave this end in. Next up I like to sew on the eyes. I put them about two rows up from the muzzle and three to four stitches apart. You use the same method for sewing these on that you sewed the muzzle on with. My next step is to sew this part of the head onto the blanket. Let's just imagine that this is the blanket. I like to put the appliques down near the bottom of my crochet block because I want their little hands, or in this case, hooves, to be gripping the frame, this frame that was created by my um, block joins. So I'm gonna put it down here near the bottom. Sometimes it's fun to put them over here in the corner, have it kind of hanging on to the side frame and the bottom frame. I'm just gonna figure out where I wanna put it right now. I'm gonna put it just sort of centered up in the bottom. But I wanna put my hooves on and see, is that the distance I want the head to be away from the bottom? And I like how that looks. So my next step is to just hold this in place and using the same process that I've done with the muzzle and the eyes, I'm going to stitch the head onto the blanket. Once you've got it all sewn down, you're back to the start. I am going to go down through another stitch one more time and flip it over. 
you can see the stitches on the back from where I've just sewed the head. Now, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I would definitely give away a baby blanket with that sort of thing on the back. But my plan for this blanket is to cover the back with fabric. So if this bothers you in any way, at the end, I'll be showing you how we can cover that whole thing with some fabric. To finish this part off, I am just going to weave in my ends. Next up are attaching the horns. I like to put about eight stitches in between the two horns. So if you lay it down, see if you like how it looks, get them even, and then same process as the rest with the yarn needle where you're going to stitch down the horns. And I am going to run like my first stitch through the top of the head so it attaches the horn to the head. And then all the rest will be in the block itself. If you want to test out the ears, I like to put them about one stitch away from my horns, which you'll notice I did kind of angle outward. So this is where I want to put my horns is like this. So holding it in place with my left, I'm going to stitch down with my right and I am going to use my first stitch to attach it to the head itself so that there's not a gap. So I'm just going to do that. And then I'm going to come up through the bottom. And like I said, just place my stitches right around here, not in this top portion of the ear. I want that to stand up. I'm just going to place it on the inside so it's flat. The part that's flat against the blanket is what I'm going to stitch down. Next up are the hooves. I'm going to be placing them at the bottom. If you had a full blanket here, I think it's really cute to have the hoof sort of go over the frame and into the next one. That's totally doable. I think it's really cute. I just like to make sure that they overlap the bottom of the head a little bit just for extra cuteness. So once you think you've got them where you want them, you stitch those down too. The last thing to add are the cow spots. So when you go to my website, you can get this little template. You print this out and then you're just going to want to cut out your pieces. Then you grab a piece of felt and you probably won't be able to see this because it's on here. I can see that there's a difference between my little spot template and the felt itself. I'm going to be using a white chalk fabric pencil and I'm going to trace that onto the back of my felt. Figure out where you want to put your little cow spot. I kind of like it right there on the front. And then I'm going to be using this fabric fix. This is a permanent fabric adhesive. And I'm just gonna glue that spot and my other one down probably right over here. I hope you love this little cow as much as I do. Happy crafting.